Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to configure and install Java CV on your system and I will also show you how to create a sample a Java CV program in your NetBeans IDE. So what is uh, Net Java CV? So Java CV is a real-time vision control or vision uh, image processing library which is a wrapper of OpenCV. OpenCV is basically written in C++ and Java CV provides a wrapper for that OpenCV libraries and OpenCV is extensively used in uh, image processing and computer vision research. So let's uh, get started and let's see how we can install Java CV. So first of all for installing Java CV or for uh, running Java CV on your system you need to uh, install OpenCV on your system. So just go to your browser and just write in your search tab OpenCV and first link which will open here is OpenCV.org just click it and in here you will see at the right hand side the latest version for the download and here you can see for the which operating system you can download this uh, OpenCV files so I'm uh, downloading it for uh, this Windows so I will just click this this link and when I click this it will open this OpenCV minus 2.4.7.exe so it's a relatively bigger li library of bigger uh, folder and it will take around 10 to 15 minutes to download so I have already downloaded it and once you have downloaded it just go to uh, that exe file and just click it and run the executable file and here the important step is to give the path so it's preferred to save or extract your OpenCV library in your C folder so just try C colon and this slash and extract this OpenCV in your C folder and it will also take one or two minutes depending upon the speed of your system by the time it's extracting uh, we can uh, download our Java CV files so once again go to your browser and in the search tab write Java CV here search for it and the first link you will see here is code.google.com slash p slash java cv and in here you will also see the download link for cv so just click this download link and in here you will be able to see some zip files so the files we are interested in is this java cv minus 0.6 minus bin zip and this java cv minus 0.6 minus cpp jars dot zip so this 0.6 can change according to the newest version so just check for it so down, download these two zip files one is this bin file and one is this cpp jar files and once you have uh, downloaded these two files just open those zip file and extract it in your C folder also so when you go to your C folder you will be able to see this Java CV minus bin folder which is which you have extracted from this Java CV zip file and you will be able to see Java CV minus CPP jar folder. So the first folder will contain this 
Java Java CPP and Java CV jar files and the second folder which is Java CV minus CPP jar file will contain uh, all these um, open CV jar files okay and now our open CV is also extracted in our C file so you in this C folder you will be able to see this open CV folder also and when you click this open CV folder you will be able to see this build and source folder so once your open CV is extracted here what you need to do is you need to set your environment variables so right go to this start button here right click your computer go to properties here and go to advanced system settings and in here go to environment variable and in here go to this system variable here and search for this path and in here we are going to add the path of open cv dll files so where you can find these dll file in open cv just open or go to your open cv folder in your c folder so go to open cv then go to your build folder then go to your x86 here and then go to vc10 and then go to bin and in here you will see all open cv dll files these dll file are uh, the c++ uh, dll files which java cv will require so just copy this path of this bin folder where you have these dll files and in your environment variable just paste this path here I have already done that so you will be able to see here after this semicolon so whenever you are going to uh, give this path just give a semicolon here and then paste your path right so we we you have here c slash open cv slash build slash x86 slash vc10 slash bin okay and once you have done that click ok click ok and once again click ok now once you have set your environment variable open your netbeans ide and create a sample project i have already created this sample project for uh, this forms application and in here in this project what I will do is I will go to this libraries here so when you create your project you will be able to see this library folder here and just right click it and go to the properties here and in here we are going to add the jar files so just click this add jar and browse for this in your C folder browse for this Java CV minus bin folder first so and in here you are going to see this jar files so the jar file which is of our interest is this first second which is Java CPP and Java CV and these files which are below are according to the operating system so for example i'm using windows operating system so i will select this or this according to the uh, windows operating system 32 bit or 62 bit 64 bit and if you are not sure the best way is to add all the jar files right except this sample folder and click OK and click OK and once again we are going to add some more jar file from the other folder so right click this library once again go to the properties add jar and this time we will browse for 
the other Java CV folder which is Java CV minus CPP jars. Open it and here you need to uh, select the jar file for Windows. So you need to select this, this which have a Windows name here and open CV Windows jar file. So just this and this and all the other file are for Linux and Android. So we don't need them and click OK and click OK. So once you are done with exporting your jar file in your libraries, I'm going to create a simple forms uh, program. So I will I have created this form Java form here and I will drag and drop a button here and I will right click and added the text and I will write open image for example and I will just double click this button and I reach to the button click event of this button and in here I'm going to paste a sample Java CV program so in here I will paste uh, this program and when you paste or copy or paste this program once here you will uh, see this errors first of all so first of all let me uh, go through your go through this uh, code first and then we will see what to do with these errors so just write IPL image and then give it a variable name is equal to CV load image and give the path of the image which you want to load in this argument here and then in the next line we are going to create a canvas it's just like a form in which your image will load so write final canvas frame and give it a name is equal to new canvas and in the arg bracket we will pass the argument which will be the title of this canvas so I have given the title demo to this canvas frame and then what we do is we will copy this canvas object here and we will write canvas dot show image and in the bracket I will pass this image object which is my IPL image object and in the last line what I'm doing is I'm just writing a code to close this canvas frame so I write canvas dot set default close operation and in the bracket I'm passing the argument Java X dot swing dot J frame dot exit on close okay and once you have done with this code and you will be able to see these errors here the best way to remove the errors is just right click and fix imports so right click and fix import and if you see this CV load image error from here just go at the top and what you are going to do is we are going to import one more library here so here we already have these two imports which is import com.google.code.java.cv.canvas frame this is for the canvas frame and we also have import com.googlecode.java.cv.cpp open cv core dot ipl image so this is for the image or taking the path of the image one more import import you need to give here is this one so this is import static com dot google code dot java cv dot cpp dot open cv high gui dot star so if you see error on this cv load image then just add this import here 
import static com dot google code dot java cv dot cpp dot open cv underscore high gui dot this asterisk or star and the other two import you will be able to see with right clicking and fix imports once you are done with that and once you have uh, written this code or copied this code here I will keep the this screen here so if you want you can copy and write the code from here and once you are done with that right click and run file and your program will run and once your program is running just click open image button here and you will be able to see this image from here okay let's open some other image so I'm just giving the path to the uh, other image so I will go to the image right click securities and copy the path of the image and in my code I will just change this path here okay and once you are done with that right click and run your code once again and click this open image button and it will open your image right so in this way you have successfully configured java cv and written your first java cv program with your netbeans ide in future i will also show some more programs using java cv so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now